All right, so today we're doing another one brand tutorial. This is a full face look using all Catrice products. I wanted to do something for Thanksgiving slash the holidays that wasn't like a warm, you know what I mean, Instagram kind of look. When you guys are seeing this, I'm actually gonna be on my way to San Diego for Thanksgiving. I asked my mom if we could have tacos instead of turkey this year for Thanksgiving didn't go over well. I hope wherever you are, you're spending Thanksgiving with people you love and care about. Let's jump into the look. If you have not heard of Catrice before, I've used some of their products and videos before, and I also did a full foundation video on their All Matte Plus foundation, but they're a European brand that's now available in the US. You can find them at Ulta, in stores, and online, and literally everything I'm using in this video is under $9, which rocks. Thank you to Catrice for collaborating with me on this video. Before agreeing to this collaboration, I made sure that they were okay with me telling my complete honest thoughts with you guys, and they were, so we are here. If not, I wouldn't have agreed to this video. So if I'm not a fan of something, I'll tell you. If I love it, I'll also tell you like usual. Just know that. I got you guys. Catrice is also hosting a Friendsgiving giveaway for you guys. You can basically win a bundle of Catrice products. So follow their Instagram at Catrice US and their social channels. You just go to their Instagram and find my picture and you can enter there. All of the info for the giveaway will be down below in the description box. If you are new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. It'll notify you every single time I put up a new video. Let's get into the makeup. If you want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. I actually figured out how to work the white balance for once in my life. That wall is usually like blue. Let's do this. Where's my coffee? So I have a few different primer options here. We have the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base Beautifying Primer and the Anti-Shine Blur Stick, which I'm super curious about. This is an actual like cream stick that you can rub onto the areas where you want to mattify. So I think I'm actually going to use the Beautifying Primer and then put this on my t-zone i do want more of a luminous look underneath my foundation since the foundation i'm gonna be going in with is super super matte i have combination skin i get pretty oily throughout the day so this has light reflecting pearl pigments and vitamin e that's supposed to give you a luminous glow let's get glowy has kind of a rose rose scent and it definitely is glowy but it's not like sliding around it still has that sticky primer feel which I personally like because I want my foundation to stick to something. It has this peachy color, but it says it's supposed to fit all skin tones. It says it can be worn alone, under, or over makeup. That's interesting. And it's supposed to have a mattifying, blurring effect. So I'm going to go in over my pores. And also on my T-zone. And then my chin. And just blend that in. Okay, I want to show you guys this up close. Hoping you can see this on camera, but... This is the side that I have filled in my pores, and this is the side that I haven't blended in yet. Am I just seeing things, or does that actually do something? You can definitely still see my pores, but this did help to minimize them, now that we are nice and primed. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup. I did a full first impression video on this foundation during the last 15 Days of Foundation series. If you missed that, I'm going to leave that video down below if you want to know my full thoughts on this foundation. Totally good mattifying foundation. I would just personally like a little bit more dewy. And this also is too dark for me, so if you're pale, this one isn't quite light enough, so you do have to mix in a mixer. I'm going to be just putting in a tiny bit of the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops. Patrice doesn't make a foundation mixer or else I would just mix that in. I'm just mixing that on the back of my Bath & Body Works palette that I use, palette? Candle lid that I use as a palette. Mixing totally fine with this product. So I'm going to use my sponge, my Real Technique sponge, to blend this guy in. I probably should have spot concealed first just to get a little bit more coverage, but it's okay. We can do that after. Okay, with that primer underneath right now, it's looking like more of a satin finish, which I really like. With that one layer, I got about medium coverage. So I have the liquid camouflage concealer here. In the review video, I also tried out this concealer. I'm going to take the shade 10 Porcelain to spot conceal and then use the lighter shade underneath my eyes. I've never used this to spot conceal, so we'll see how well it covers. And I kind of just put this on any areas that I need a little bit more coverage, like scarring and acne and fun things like that. Okay, I seriously have a zit like in my double chin right now. What the heck? So for under eye concealer, I'm going to go with that same liquid camouflage high coverage concealer in the shade 005 Light Natural. This is the lightest shade. This one is pretty light, a little bit more yellowy, peachy toned. I feel like I haven't tried this concealer enough to know my full thoughts on it, but you'll see how it wears right now. I'm just going to blend that in with my Morphe G38. I love this brush for under eye concealer. It's bomb. 
My under eyes have been pretty funky lately. I think they're just super dry right now. I feel like I don't get a ton of coverage from this concealer, but it could just be not light enough for me. I need to set my under eyes and I don't have a powder here. So I'm just gonna go in with my normal setting powder that I use underneath my eyes. Now that we're looking a little more awake. So to set my face, I have this Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Powder. This is transparent, so it's just like a transparent pressed setting powder. Okay, this actually has a little bit of color and it's actually kind of light, which is nice. Ooh, my face feels very soft right now. It feels like I don't have any makeup on right now. Like it's super soft. Get okay, powder in my eyeballs. I'm gonna go in for brows. What do we have here? I think I have a few different brow products. I have this Eyebrow Stylist. This just looks like a brow pencil. Pretty standard. It has a little comb thing on the end. I also have the Long Lasting Brow Definer. Ooh, this is like a pen. I think I'm gonna go in with the pencil. I've kind of switched over to using brow pencils lately instead of like a gel or pomade. And I don't know, I've just been liking it. I feel like I have more control a little bit. This is in the shade 20 Date with Ashton. I just had a flashback to like middle school having a giant ass crush on Ashton Kutcher. I feel like I haven't heard anything about good old Ashton in a while. I think the shade is actually pretty spot on for me. It's like an ashy brown shade. I've been into carving out my brows lately, so I'm going to take that same concealer 005 and attempt to carve out my brows a little bit. I usually only go on the underneath part of my brow because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural. The brows are on, folks. I'm going to use... Oh, there's an eyebrow set here too. I didn't even see that. Ooh, you know what? Maybe we'll try using this as a contour. Oh, this almost looks too ashy. Could work though, maybe. Uh, let's try. We're either gonna have a gray face or a good contour. Actually, before we go in with contour, I'm just gonna prime my eyes really quick using the Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base. I've actually tried this, I think in a video I used this in a shadow and schmooze or something. And this is one of those primers that I feel like you kind of have to pat in instead of blend or else it'll take off any concealer on your lids if you have any. I like that it has a little bit of white tint to it because it just helps your eyeshadow pop a little bit if you put on some kind of lighter base. It does set pretty quick. Like this isn't one of those primers that feels sticky. This one is actually setting. This shade right here in the Chocolate Nudes palette I think could also work. Looks like it has a tiny bit. Ooh, that one looks nice. I'm trying this for the contour. I'm taking my E48 by Morphe just because this has a little tapered end so I can easily get in this shadow right here. Oh, heck yeah. I feel like this is a perfect natural contour shade, not too dark and not too gray. Yeah, this is actually a bomb shade for contour. I like to kind of pat on the product before I go in and blend, just so I'm not blending away any of my foundation or coverage. So I have this Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder in two different shades, the medium shade and the darker skin shade, that's what it says, medium skin, darker skin. I've used the medium bronze shade before. The texture of these are really nice, blend out super easily, but the shade, at least the medium bronze shade on my skin tone, looks a little bit orangey. So I'm actually gonna try the darker skin one just because it looks a little bit more reddish. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this on my Wet n Wild brush. Bring this up to the temples a little bit. I think I actually like this shade better on my skin tone. This blends out really easily. If you followed me on Snapchat while I was in New York, I wore this bronzer in the other shade pretty much every day. With this product, which I should also show you, this is the Ashy Radiance Contouring Palette. This is bomb if you have pale skin. I am still doing the contour shades for pale skin video, but I bought this because a bunch of you guys recommended this shade. This contour product is amazeballs. I used that contour product in the bronzing powder in the other shade pretty much the entire New York trip. Blush, I'm going to take the La Vie and Rose Illuminating Blush. I think I've also used this in a video. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit of this on my nose just to Make my face look a little bit more natural. I think I've used this in a video too. This is the Jon Snow's favorite eyeshadow, but I've actually used this as a highlight before. I think I'm gonna mix it in with this Catrice highlighting powder in Champagne Campaign. Actually, I might mix it with this. I've never used this highlight before. This is the highlight that comes in the bronzing or the contouring palette. I think I'm gonna mix these two highlight shades right here and see what happens. Oh, heck yeah. I love using eyeshadows as highlights. The thing you want to look for is like a super soft 
kind of buttery texture, which is what these Glam Fusion eyeshadows have. They feel almost like gel or like a cream shadow a little bit. I do not like using glittery shadows as highlights. I usually only do it if it's something that has this kind of texture. I'm gonna take a little bit of just this shade and put it on the high, ooh, this highlight is pretty. I'm just putting it right on kind of, I don't know, above my brows, just to give my face a little bit more glow. Okay, so my eye primer has totally set, which is great. And I think I wanna do kind of a cool toned look because I feel like most Thanksgiving tutorials are always like warm, whatever. So I think we're actually gonna do a little bit more of a cool toned holiday-y look. So three different eyeshadow palettes here and then I also have some of their loose, not loose, single shadows. The liquid metal shadow, well, where are you going? The liquid metal shadows and the fusion, glam fusion eyeshadows. I like the glam fusion eyeshadows a lot better. Again, they have like that creamy kind of texture. To start, I'm actually gonna take this contour shade from the palette to put in my crease and not take my highlight brush. Let's take a blending brush. I love using the same shade that you use to contour in your crease. It's just super quick and easy and you don't have to like reach for another product. This glow right now is so intense and I'm so feeling it. I think I might actually add some purple. I feel like that'll make it look pretty fall. So I'm gonna take this darkest shade from the Absolute Rose palette. I've never tried these eyeshadow palettes before. Okay, I'm just blending this into the outer corner of my eye. I don't know if it's the primer underneath or these eyeshadows, but this is blending out really easily. This is actually pretty pigmented and it's not like blending away. I think I'm gonna use that same Glam Fusion eyeshadow in Jon Snow's favorite and wet my brush and then go in and put this on the lid. You can use water, you can use any kind of setting spray to do this and I usually cover my brush in product first and then go in and spray it just so it doesn't change the texture of the eyeshadow in the pan. And you can see this is like very cream almost. It just made an indent in there. Oops, and then I just stuck my nail in it. Actually, since this is like a cream, I don't think you really need to wet it. I'm just gonna use my finger, yeah. Okay, you get way better payoff with your finger. Super pretty. I'm kind of going for like an icy look, you know what I'm saying? And bring this onto the inner corner a little bit. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with the contour shade that we used in the crease and just blend this down there. To smoke that out a little bit more, I'm gonna go back in with that dark shade and just put this on the very outer, like half basically. I think we're on to eyeliner. I have a liquid eyeliner here. It says it's waterproof and a smoky matte powder liner. Whoa, that, that is interesting. I feel like this would be good for smudging. Ooh, maybe we'll smudge. I cannot remember if I've tried this or not. Ooh, it has a really fine point. Okay, I kinda wanna try this. This is the Liquid Liner Waterproof in Don't Leave Me. 10, just black shade. All right, let's pray to the eyeliner gods. Um, okay, not bad, you guys, at all. I just got a super fine point really quickly. Whoops, <laughs> that one got a little vertical. Okay, I'm excited to use this again because that took like two seconds and super easy to get a wing because the point of this is super, super tiny. Yeah, I'm into this. A few different mascara options here. Luxury lash, la lashes, glam and doll, and lashes to kill. Does anyone else totally judge a mascara by its bottle? Like this one just speaks to me on multiple levels. This has a curved one with super tiny rubber bristles. Oh, this one looks like it's up my alley. This is a bigger one. This is the Luxury Lashes Dramatic Volume. I'm gonna go in with this one. I think I am gonna apply falsies today, but we'll go in with mascara first. I feel like this is more lengthening than volumizing. I don't have any Catrice lashes, so I'm gonna go in with my Cara S4. I freaking love these lashes. These are a dollar. Okay, so lashes are on, scarf is on. Bottom lashes, I use the Catrice Glam and Doll Mascara, and I really like this. It's like super, almost twiggy lashes. Debating doing a nude lip, or I kinda wanna do a berry lip. I have a few different options I'm gonna swatch for you guys. Okay, here are the different swatches. I'm definitely gonna go in with this last shade on the end right here, because that's like the most berry toned one. But this right here is the Luminous Lips 170. This is the ultimate stay, don't worry, be berry next to it, that middle shade. 
And then the one I'm going to go in with is the Ultimate Stay 070 Plum and... What does this say? Plum and Base? Plum and Base, I think. One of those smelled really good. It smelled like a MAC lipstick. First, I'm going to go in with the Ultimate Stay Lip Liner in the shade Love Me The Way You Plum. This is like a retractable turn up. Turn up? I like that this is one that you can go over and it doesn't get all weird and bungy or anything. If you mess up a line or need to go over it, you can totally do that. And didn't drag anywhere nice and smooth. Oh, these are like a perfect match. These smell so good. I think I'm actually gonna top this off with one of the volumizing lip boosters because I want it a little bit less fuchsia-y and a little bit more mauve -y, so we'll see if this helps. This is Nuts About Mary. Ooh, it says this contains menthol, so it's supposed to have like a cooling effect. I love anything menthol, men menthol? <laughs> minty or menthol-y. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know all of the products I used will be linked down below. I'm gonna do like a top five what I recommend from this whole thing. Definitely the Catrice contouring palette. Like I said, I've used this before and I love this. The eyeshadow primer, I don't know if it was the eyeshadows or this, but they blend it out super easily. And I feel like when I use my MAC Paint Pot, you can kind of see, this is gonna sound weird, but you can kind of see the texture of your eyeshadows a little bit better. Does that make sense? Like I feel like the primer is actually making them stick and kind of pop. And I feel like you get the same effect with this, which I really like, so I'm definitely gonna keep using this. I am very pleasantly surprised by the liquid eyeliner. I'm definitely gonna keep continuing to use this. It's not super matte, so if you like a matte liquid liner, you probably wouldn't like this because it does have a little bit of a shine to it, but I don't mind that. And the brush on this is just really easy to flick and get that tiny wing. Glam Fusion eyeshadow, super pretty. Definitely use your finger when you apply this. You can also use it as a highlight if you're fair. The highlight combo I used today, I really like if you want more of like an intense highlight. If you want more of a toned down one, just go ahead and use the highlight in this palette. Fifth product I would say, I actually really like the shade of this and texture of this one. And I think this could work for a bunch of different skin tones in 020 Deep Bronze. When you first put it on, it looks super pigmented and it looks like you're not gonna be able to blend it. And then when you actually blend, it just kind of like effortlessly blends out. So I would say these are like my top five. Don't forget to go check out Catrice's giveaway on Instagram. All of the details for the giveaway are down below in the description box. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye. Thank you.